Welcome to the Django Project, DJ Blogger. This tutorial is part of a YouTube Django Project playlist, which you can access in the video description. You can watch the whole course from the very beginning. If you enjoy this course and would like all the updated tutorials and associated code samples and more, you can check out this course and other courses this project features at Udemy. The link to the course is in the video description. So now to build a three column template that we're going to be utilizing on multiple pages of our application. Back in our code, let's go to templates and let's add the new setup in. So this might be a site wise component. So for example, here we're going to add all the components here and pages for the blog, but this template might be utilized on other apps, in other apps, maybe. So I'm gonna put this in the base. So I'm gonna create a new file here called a three, col three column template.html. So I can just call that three col uh, template. Yeah, dot .html. I was trying to shorten it down a little bit. Okay, so that's my three column template. So what I want to do here then is I want to create a, a template which has three columns. And in addition to that, I need to think about how this is going to respond. Because remember, this is a vertical menu and then at a certain width, it's then going to then turn into a horizontal menu. In addition to that, I want a slightly different behavior in terms of the width. So, I want to set the max width because, because I want this to be fully over on the left hand side and this end to be fully on the right hand side. If I use a normal container, you remember the container here is going to kind of come a little bit too short to the edge of my page here. So I want to make sure that this is kind of on the edge. So I'm going to change the scale, change the size of the, the max width of my container to 1500 and that's going to then fit nicely into this type of screen width. Eventually, you can see when we have a larger screen, a much larger screen, it will kind of not reach right to the end. But the majority of the screens that this will be viewed upon, uh, hopefully the experience will be that this will be far on the left hand side and this right sidebar will be on the far right hand side majority of the time. Let's start then by building a container. And we're going to change the container width. So class equals container is a bootstrap container. And then let's add a new style right here in line. So let's add the max width. Let's set this to one 500 pixels. We're probably going to need to make that important. So it overrides just to make sure it does override the container settings. And then we're going to need a row. Let's create a new row. So we're building a template which can then be utilized on the other page. So we'll see how we can do that. So essentially we're going to use blocks here, which can then be overridden on other templates. That's pretty much the deal here. So class equals, let's build a new row. Let's wrap that down. And then inside of our row, we're going to have the three blocks. So let's set these three blocks out. So one, two, and three. And Okay, so that's the three blocks. Let's just call this A, B, and C to begin with. Let's now include that into our new single page. So everything is nicely connected. I'm just going to, yeah, we'll add that in a second. So let's go down here in our single page. We just need to include that in. So up the top, it's going to be an include or an extend, apologies, an extend, of course extends. So that needs to be at the very top extends dot dot dash. So we need to come out of blog here dot dot dash. And now we're inside the templates directory. So we then need to go into base slash and then three cold template dot HTML plate. Okay, so we extend that in. Let's uh, bring that down here. It needs to go first. Um, we can also 
well, we also need to be able to potentially override some other elements here. Um, right. So we are going to need the outer base HTML, remember? So let me just close some of these elements because we don't need them. We don't need that. So we're just working with single and we're working with the three column template. So in the three column template, what we need to do is we do need to extend. So we're going to extend from base. Let's not forget that extends from our base dot base base dot HTML base slash. OK, so what's happening here? Then we have our base. We're going to extend the base from the three column template and then we're going to extend the three column. We're making a hierarchical system here at the bottom. We're going to have our single page that's going to incorporate everything in the three column template. Three column template is going to incorporate everything within the base. So we have kind of the base wrapper HTML. Right. So now we have that in place. We need to remember that this code here needs to go into the the block template section here. OK, so that's where this three column code needs to go. So we need to make sure that we add our blocks appropriately. So this is block template. Spell that correctly. All right. And then we need to obviously end that. So that needs to be ended. So just end block. OK, so this is going to be our template and we need to remember that we want to change and manipulate what's inside of these sections in each of our templates, in this case, the single. So we are going to need to add a block now in every single component here so we can override it on the individual pages. So let's go ahead and call these different names. So this can be block uh, content left. We call it content left, content mid and content right. How about that? So let's uh, add those in there and then we call this mid and we call this right. You can change this up, of course, and then we just need to end these blocks. There we go. Right. So now we have that in place. Let's go back to our single. Let's just grab this middle because we want the code to be in the middle. Let's grab this mid. Let's put our code that we created earlier inside of there. Nope. And now we have the extend. We now have the content. So this content is going to go inside of this block here. This code here is going to go inside of our base. So hopefully you can start to see this hierarchical system in place. Let's give this a go and see if it works. So we'll grab one of our posts. OK, looks like our extend code is incorrect. We've forgotten to finish it correctly. So let's go back, refresh. Hard refresh. Mm -hmm. Let's do that again. Doesn't seem to be working. So three column. I would do the same thing on a single as well. OK. And there we go. So you can see the styling has taken place, suggesting that the CSS has been taken up from the base. You can see on the left hand and the right hand side, there's not much going on at the moment, but we need to format that in a second. But it looks OK at the moment. So let's go back now into our three column. So we now have content here in our mid section. So let's just add some other. Get this ready. So we have the mid middle section. We have the left hand side. And then in addition to that, we have. Uh, where are we? We have the end or the right hand side block. So let's just add this down here. We'll just add some content for now. A and then down here we add B just to see if it works OK. Let's refresh. You can see the A up here. If we go down the bottom, you can see the B at the bottom. You can't see it on that screen, um, but at the bottom there is a B. So it looks like it's working OK. At the minute, we now need to place this here to make it look a little bit like this. So here we have the basics of our template. Hopefully you can start to see how this is shaping. The fact now is that we can utilize this template on any of our pages moving forward. We simply do need to define the left, middle and right content on the individual page. Hopefully you can start to see how that now is included and how that is all brought together. At this point, our 
take you now to the next tutorial where we will focus purely on this left hand side to create the navigation. We'll have a quick tutorial on the middle section and then we we'll do the right section.